Good morning everybody, welcome to a new video. We are cleaning. So the guys are vacuuming all the iron that has settled down to the bottom. We're gonna vacuum that and uh, let the filter system and pump running for the first time ever to get that bloody metal stuff out of the pool. So you might be asking, why did this happen? Why did our pool turn bloody red? And it's quite simple. It's the metallic ingredients with the source of our water in the mountain. It is so high in minerals, mostly iron, perhaps copper and magnesium, that uh, once you do the initial shock, the, chlor chlor the chlorine treatment, it oxidizes with the iron. And that uh, creates the uh, rust, basically. It's rust. So that has settled down. Now we're running the pool for the first time. Gonna do that all day while using the solar system, of course. So we can only use it about 10 hours. And let's see how this day goes. We have a lot of cleaning to do. All the bottom here has so much. Look at that copper or iron. We're gonna backwash the filter, clear it out, all this uh, crap. And then we go again. So one round, all the bottoms of the pool. And hopefully we can see the tiles after that. And then keep the pump going all day. Let's check the uh, pressure, the PSI now. Very good. So we want it to go at least 20, maximum 25. And then we start backwashing. How's your vacuuming? Working great. Good. Uh, that's really thick, super thick. Well, the good thing is it's in the bottom now. This is well, exactly what happens if you have a mountain water. Yeah, and if you don't have a filter system that we plan to buy, that is uh, eliminating these minerals before it gets into the pool, that would of course avoid this problem. So we're learning as we go. We're not perfect. We make mistakes. There you go. You can see the stairs now. <laughs> That is satisfying. We cannot see the bottom anymore. Yeah, I'm pressing the corner, trying to get as much as possible. There we go, guys. We're only using the skimmer, not the main drain. We're getting all that shit, copper. Yeah, it's getting clear now. Try to do it as fast as we can. Keep it up, baby. We started just with the bottom because that's where the most of the iron is. Now it's kind of gone back up. Here you can see it's getting clearer. Pure brown, dark, copperish color. We want to get most of it out in the deep. Let's check out the pop room and the water that's coming out. Wow! Look at that copper! It's all iron and copper. Filtering is pure dirt. You got time. You still got time. I'm all 
faster than Finn. <laughs> Way faster. The only mistake we did now, we turned off the uh, pump for a little bit in the corner there. Oh, look at that. That's satisfying, baby. <laughs> ah, look at that crap. Metallic. Push. From dead pool to a live pool. Get it, Pepe! Get the dirt! Woo! I'll check, I'll check, I'll check. Still very good. You got at least this much of pool water. So we don't want the skimmer to go below the, um, the edges. Good exercise. No need to go to the gym today, baby. Almost there. Okay, so here's the next plan. We gotta fill it up a little bit and uh, let the remaining iron settle again. And then we go another round. But that was like 90% at least. But the good thing is you can see how clear it is. Yeah, we can do one, one round for this infinity and then... Wow, look how clear it is here. We gotta go a few more rounds. It's the only way. I just saved the video, look. 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 It's so satisfying, look. Uh... <laughs> Pull up cake. So it's getting clear up. We need more rain and so that the rain will fill up a little bit the infinity. As of the moment, we're only uh, filtering the main drain. We, we turn off the, the infinity and the, the skimmer. So only the main drain is doing, you know, filtering and then it goes to the main the drain, drain is right there in the center. Yeah. You can see it's clearly clearing up. Yeah. It's amazing. I think we have been running the pump now for two and a half hours mm -hmm. and we're seeing some amazing results guys. We can actually see the bottom now compared to this morning when we were vacuuming. Mm -hmm. So this is a fantastic sign. If you're able to run your pump for more than four hours per day, then it's not really required to have the UV filter, but of course it always helps. But if you're like us, when we're gonna use the advantage of the solar system, we can actually run the pump as long as we want during the daytime. So we're going to be at least four hours a day. So far, so good. Yeah. So the plan now to continue with this is uh, just run the pump, run the pump. Maybe at the end of this day, we do a backwash quickly. And then we have to wait for rainwater. I'm very impressed, guys. It's, something is happening. It doesn't look like a dead pool anymore. You can actually see something. Another thing I want to test now is once again the electricity. We got the pump on. We got two air cones on. Ice maker. I'm charging my laptop. Uh, what else? So we're we're using the electricity quite a bit now. So let's check out the uh, consumption. Okay, this inverter is 1.2 kilowatt and this one is 1.16 so it's only about uh, 230 kilowatt per hour right now it's just fairly good and then uh, battery is 100 percent and uh, yeah rock solid okay it's about three o'clock in the afternoon and uh, 
we have been running the pump for since 9 30 i would say yeah 9 30 i did, did one backwash one waste and uh then i started the pump again about 9 30. 9 30. so we got five and a half hours of pump and look yeah. at it now guys we can see the tiles completely few big spots of steel of iron we missed out because it was so bloody dark, dark. we couldn't even see where we were aiming the uh the uh vacuumer <laughs> and i think there's also one more line here a big spot we completely missed because we were doing it blindly huh so we were going back and forth back and forth and missed a good spot there mm -hmm. look at that also we're always checking the ph and the total canopy hardiness the chlorine so tonight i'm gonna put muriatic acid again to lower the uh, to lower the uh, ph pull clarifier so that all the iron will be go down and then hopefully it will be rain Please. so we can yeah. vacuum yeah so that we can vacuum because uh, as of the moment uh, the water is not reaching the infinity so we are filtering only in the main drain so we turn off the the infinity and the steamer so yeah we're good just the main drain and uh, you can see that clearly there nice circle around it what a good start mm -hmm. still learning we're learning guys yeah, we're learning. <laughs> no expert we only got uh, mostly advice by youtube and good friends around in the area yeah. since we started the pool we get comments that we do it like uh, recommend to watch some mikey bustos shout out one of the og's best creator on uh, here in the philippines in my opinion mikey bustos is amazing however his system is a little bit out of our budget <laughs> we got quotation for it before it's Australian brand, mm -hmm. so uh, maybe sometime down the road, but we're going to start the uh, normal, or not normal, but the uh, most yep. common way. Yeah, we're really common way, but we're also changing the, the silica sun. That's the thing. You yes, know, that's going to be a big one. And after the five and a half hours of uh, filtering, let's check out how much is coming out. What the filter captured. First things first, always turn off the pump. Then we set it to backwash. Hey! It's a clear water! Yeah, Whoa! Crazy! Ooh, look at this now! That's a lot, Novin. You need to get up. You might go down. Go over there. Go over there. Okay, it's clearing now. The water is already clean. It's already clean here. Go back to filter and done. That's it. Start again tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, pool is looking clear today. That was some heavy rain last night, huh? Wow, even it filled up. Look at that. Just the only the infinity did not uh, pull. But it's okay. Yeah. So the plan today, we're gonna start vacuuming the bottom and then we'll run the pump again. The rain reservoir is full. It's full? Mm -hmm. Wow, one rain it fills it up. Yeah, I think we need more another rain reservoir then. Yeah, I think so too in the future. Hey cats, you wanna come out? 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven. So these are termite flies, I think. Yep, and I feed them in the chicken. Well, the water is so clear, baby. Super, get in there. Not super clear. I mean, compared to <laughs> the nightmare we had before. Yeah. <laughs> 
beginning of yesterday, we couldn't see anything. So true. To run the pump, it's much easier to capture it. Usually it puts everything in one area. Yeah, infinity. Battery percentage now is 63 and it's charging 2.3. It's 6 kilowatts. Mm -hmm. uh, battery is 63%, coming in is 2.63. Something. Great. Uh, Let me just start vacuuming. Maybe. If this is good sun, then uh, it's going to be running off the solar, not the battery. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's a trick now. Natural food for you guys. Eat it. Yes. Huh? Eat it. Before we start uh, vacuuming, we always do in the morning a uh, water test. Okay, we're getting super low on chlorine, almost zero. But the pH? pH still very. Uh, yeah. It's getting a little bit down. Yeah, I put a muriatic. Look at it. It's yep. almost 7.8. I think that's it's good. perfect pH. Yep. So perfect. we have to add some chlorine. Yeah, that's a perfect time to put the chlorine. Okay, pull pump is on and uh, we got it to waste. So we're just vacuuming the bottom now. Make it super clear. As you can see, today it's a totally different story. Look at that clarity now. Wow, what a difference from yesterday. This is crazy. The reason why it's a little bit greenish is that the, the iron is a brown color and when you mix the, uh, the brown, the white, it kind of turns greenish a bit. In the end, this is going to be very nice aqua blue. And that's the spot we missed yesterday because it was so dark. Nice. Done with the depart. Then we gotta do the shallow and maybe around in the seats. Plenty of water left. So once the water level drops down to the, the seal, then we stop here and fill up the pool with rainwater. Almost there. Now we're starting the shallow. Now the infinity part. Okay, vacuuming is done and now we're gonna start running the filter system. And uh, it's super early, 7.30 a.m. And the uh, sun is high, so we're producing a lot of power so we can start the uh, system a lot earlier than uh, previously. Okay, now we got the uh, water reservoir pump going. But uh, we bought this uh, blue line for our new submersible pump, but it's too short. So we're using the uh, green line here uh, to fill up the water now with the rainwater from the reservoir. Let's see how clean it is. A little pump there. Here's our water reservoir water. Super clean. Vacuuming done. And no, now, I think we're going to scrub it a little bit yeah. because I think the filter will catch the micro now just in the air or in the water. Then uh, afternoon, we'll show you the result if we can see any difference after filtering for a few hours today. Now I'm just pushing out the micro iron parts into the main drain and uh, I think the filter will actually get that today or some of it. Then I got to take the small brush. And uh, try to get some of the stains, step by step. Nice and cool. Mm. Hot day, one cloud now. Sunny. <laughs> or do we also say that over time this will, uh, will fade out and loosen up again? Remove dirt. This one is easy. Yeah, easy. How is it? 
so nice. <laughs> you cannot go up there. Good. Green pool. Yeah, super green. <laughs> <laughs> Local dogs, mountain dogs. They are guarding. Always watching for cows. <laughs> <laughs> Still coughing, baby. <coughs> oh, yeah. it's so beautiful color, isn't it? Don't do that, Faye. Did you get that? I don't know. You, you think you're stronger than me, Thor? Come on, get it. Try to pull it. Okay. No. Go do it again. again. <laughs> For the pool. Is it looking uh, blood black? Not anymore. Look at that. First, we need to check the pH and everything. Almost there. Only stay two. Little bit of iron still in between. Now it's 3 p.m. and you can see we only got sunlight there and the. Uh, the shade is doing a nice cooling effect if you want to stay in the shade, but that starts appearing at 10 a.m. Shin's gonna check out the pH, waiting for a little bit more sun. It's cloud right now. Once the sun is here, I want to show you guys the difference. How oh, crazy difference already. That total chlorine is super low. Low chlorine? Yeah, I think zero. Wow. I'm going to put the chlorine tomorrow. Okay. And then the pH is in the perfect and the alkalinity is okay good perfect not totally perfect but yeah we were able to clean the <laughs> reddish that was a nightmare though I, I can't believe how bad it was and how crazy it is now in all the second day of uh, vacuuming and filtering I think the water is pretty clear. It's just the stuff on the tiles now. Yeah, we need to brush it, brush, brush, brush. Brush, brush, yes. Time to the vlog. Yeah, we're gonna enjoy the swim, jump in the pool, cool down, 4 p.m. And uh, yeah, super happy, two days of cleaning. I, I still cannot believe this. What we managed to do in only two days and filtering and vacuuming. 
Crazy. Crazy. So what we learned from this is it's probably wise to do a proper water test um, before you fill up the pool, depending on this, your situation, if you're able to just collect rainwater like we we can. So that would that's the only thing we would have done differently, but uh, we started filling up before the rainy season started. So, um, you know, it was gonna happen and it, you know, regardless, you have to do the uh, pool shock with chlorine kill all bacteria, stuff like that. So it would have happened anyway. But ideally, we would have done it with the rainwater. So uh, yeah, we'll keep you updated how the cleaning goes. And then I'll see you until next time. Peace out.